What is up guys, I am back with another decent vs. Online Styles video. And this one... Uh, excuse me. Oh, my bad. This one is on... Uh, I don't know if you're able to guess this one right off the bat. Uh, you already know what it is from the title. This is Injustice 2 Batman. Uh, specifically, this is the one... This is based off of the... Uh, if you... If, as of right now, uh, the 17th of uh, June, if you search Injustice 2 gameplay, when it shows him fighting against Aquaman, it's that suit. It's my attempt at that. Uh, I actually found a guy earlier today when I made this style the first time, when I first made it. Uh, he was dressed as Injustice 2 Batman, so that was pretty cool seeing two people uh, as Injustice 2 Batman. That was pretty cool. Uh, I really liked his. He had uh, the Gotham Night gear. That makes it look really cool. I also really like this one. Uh, so we're going to get into that. I said it's really tough because depending on the lighting of the engine, his suit looks different, which really made me mad, which really, uh, made me frustrated. Because when you first see him when he's inside fighting with Aquaman, when he's inside the building, uh, inside like the bar, the suit looks, it's a weird color. It's a lightish blue and then gray and black. And so the leg style that I'm using, the, uh, the outer part of the legs, which I'll show you, is uh, this part right here that I just made black. Well, it looks gray when you first look at it, but when it goes outside, it looks blue. And this slot two that I just made black looks gray, uh, which is where it's at now. Wait, I think it was, right? I don't know. I kept it. That's weird, it should have been a different color. There we go, it's supposed to be gray. Whoops. Uh, anyway, my bad, that's my fault right there. But yeah, the slot 2 is actually the... It's more of a black, but I want to use gray there just so I can have some differentiation. And not, like, have it all uh, black down there so it has some gray. But it's such a weird s suit. It's really weird. I like it, don't get me wrong. It's just a really weird one. Uh, it's a neat concept. Uh, he doesn't have any fins on the suit, which is kind of weird. Uh, but whatever, I can't complain. But uh, I know you. I know you're able to customize what the character looks like. But this is me basing it off of that gameplay footage that we saw. So don't hate on me that oh it's not. You know you can change the style. I know you could probably put a different gauntlet on that that has fins. I know I saw in the same gameplay footage they show a customized Batman. You can have fins, don't hate on me, but this is just, you know, basing it off of that fight right there. So, anyway, enough frantic, let's get into it. So, we have a black of 050505 because it's not really solid black, it's a kind of a lighter black. Alright, we have a blue, lightish blue of. Hang on, let me make sure I know what I'm saying. 0E1111. And we have a gray of 141414. Alright, so the headpiece is obviously the Dark Knight's cowl. I wish it was longer eared and we could have something going over just the jaw, like a chin strap thing. But uh, we don't have, have that at the moment, so yeah, we, we use what we got, which is the Dark Knight's cowl. Alright, no face piece. The shoulders are logistics officer. The emblem is the wings emblem, because he has a slimmer emblem and not as big as the uh, Dawn of Justice one, so you want to go with the wings for that one. It always looks weird, sorry. Okay, no hands, uh, because there's nothing that looks right. It's The suit is a sleek material, but this is the snake chest, so it has that scaly arms, which I don't like, but it's the best option you're going to get in terms of the gear that I have. Keep that in mind. All right, the waist piece is Master Mercenary. It looks almost exact to the one that he has in the... Uh, the gameplay that I saw, but uh, but at first the buckle looks gold, but when he's outside it looks blue. I'm lost. Whenever there's high res images, I will definitely take a look at those. But until then, we'll go with that, uh, which you can see in a second when I show you the color palette. Uh, the feet are Starl Defender. He doesn't really wear boots, but I just don't like the way the the leg style looks down past that. It looks really just sleek uh, in the actual costume design so yeah we're gonna go with that just because it kind of gives it breaks it up a little bit the chest like I said is snake uh, just because it gives him 
that separated like the chest and the uh, pecs and the abs are uh, gray and like the suit under that is gray or uh, blue sorry the legs are cat burglar because they do give that leg armor it just looks high tech like it does in the, the gameplay and the back is batwoman uh, because the the daring vigilante just the points are too exaggerated so the batwoman just makes it look a little nicer alright so the headpiece is all black you get that in the marketplace the shoulders are slot 1 and 2 blue ish light blue and slot 3 gray you can't really tell the difference but it represents the rivets that are holding it onto the suit I am very picky about how I want things to look I can't help it uh, the emblem is slot 1 black it's all black I know it looks gray for some reason it's just because the black is such a light light black almost gray that it picks it up as gray, I would assume. Uh, but you get that in the uh, character creation menu of the War Room. Uh, the hands don't matter, the waist is all gray, except for slot 3, my bet. Slot 3 is that light blue, because it was gold in the beginning, but it was blue at the end, so I just made it blue in the center, since I don't have a gold color. Since I wanted to have gray, blue, and black, uh, that's the way I had to do it. Uh, which is another thing that doesn't make any sense to me, and I'll talk about that in just a second, about color, in terms of the whole thing. Alright, uh, and you get that in a, in a Promethean lot box, the broker, maybe a trade. Uh, the feet are all that light blue, slot one's the only one that matters, it's that light blue color, just it works the best. Uh, get that in a Promethean lot box, the broker, maybe a trade, I don't know how, if that is true. Uh, the chest is slot one, light blue. Uh, slot 2 gray, slot 3 uh, light blue, so slot 1 and 3 light blue, slot 2 gray. Sorry, there's such a slight variation in color that it's just hard to make out, and that's how picky I am. I want it to look as subtle like it does in the actual suit, but not overly bright because the I hate the lighting in this game because if I go to Metropolis, it looks brighter. If I go to Gotham, it's darker, and it, I hate it sometimes because it's frustrating. All right, the legs. Oh, by the way, they get the snake chest. I believe it's the Smallville mission because I got it on the way to a barn. I think it was in the Smallville mission. Uh, I, I was like a drop that it just showed up that I had the snake chest. So, yeah, that's all I can tell you about that one, unfortunately. All right, the legs are slot. Okay, slot one light blue, slot two gray, slot three black, because the knee pads and stuff around the boots and the fabric around the boots were black really dark gray however you want to look at it uh, and then the uh, like I said it should be black where slot 2 is gray but I wanted to have some gray down there so I left it gray because sometimes it looks gray and then the armor looked uh, gray in the f in the bar but outside it looked blue I don't know it's so frustrating I'm leaving it like this I'm tired of fooling with it <laughs> and uh, you get those uh, oh God, doing the Catwoman mission uh, where you have to like find all the eyes or the eyes of all the cats and once you defeat her it, it was, it's a random drop you have a potential to get so I got that style and I'm glad I did it because it works really well for this style alright the back piece is all black uh, you get that from the temple of crime or crime temple uh, batwoman mission where you have to fight those like panther things those creatures and like beat up the really short big guy uh, boss at the crime temple Temple of Crime, something like that. It's like a circle, like a circle area that you should go to. And a tip, if you don't get it the first time, go right back outside, stand by the yellow circle. Don't go back inside the building. Just stand beside it. And then log out and log back in. The mission will be reset and you can keep doing it like, over and over that way in that method till you get it. That's what I did for the Batwoman back and the Bane Waste. That's how I got those. I just kept logging out and logging back in. Uh, I guess you'd call it an exploit. Uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. It resets the missions and stuff, so... I feel like it's okay to use. So, there we go. That is Injustice 2 Batman. And on to that thing that I said I want to talk about. It's about the cowl. Now, I forgot to talk about that before I exited. Uh, when he's in the bar, the cowl looks blue. So, at first, I had it as the light blue. But once he got outside, it was black. So, the lighting in this game, I hate it because it makes it a pain in the butt for me on DCUO. Trying to replicate the style. Because it looks really cool. It's just a pain to work with. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Injustice 2 Batman style. 
I think it looks pretty neat with the styles that I have available and what we are available or what we are able to do with the DC character uh, customization. I look forward to seeing more uh, suits that are in full pictures of Batman from Injustice 2 because he looks really cool. There's even like a Batman Beyond suit that I, I'm really interested in making once I can get a full body shot of it and any of the other gear or all the other gear as well and trying to make uh, those styles. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one.